What's up, YouTube? This your boy CJ C3 Awesome YT, aka Corey Johnson, and we're back in our video. And I'm gonna be um, doing a rap um, that's about a girl. Um, I got a girlfriend again, yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure this relationship may last longer if I do this rap. And this has been requested by my friends at school. Um, and also, one more thing before I do this rap, I just want to tell you guys that, and this is coming from me, it don't matter how a girl looks on the outside, it really matters about their personality on the inside. Think about that. Alright, let's do this. Uh. Love may just be a word, yeah, and so may hate, but they're very strong words. I love you more than anything I've ever loved. Transformers, Team Fortress 2, hamburgers, and much more. I love you just as much as I love my parents. Life ain't nothing without you, baby, so just... Admit it, you look cuter than anything, and I will tell you that you ain't gotta worry about any other guy coming for you because I'm gonna be there right by your side. And if you make any decisions, I won't even bother to argue. Decisions are decisions, and if you make them, I'm fine. But let me tell you something. Life is all about love or hate. But then again, we've been put on the earth for a purpose. There's plenty of purposes to be put on the very planet we live on. I love you more than anything any man could imagine. But yeah, <laughs> that's as far as I'm gonna go. Um, the reason, and if you guys ask who my girlfriend is, I don't mind shouting her out. Her name's Riley Jance. She's also a friend of mine from school, but she is now my girlfriend. Um, and I am, um, being honest, I'm keeping my words. Um,. She, she is beautiful. Um, you guys may not think so if you ever see her, but there's something wrong with you. And, um, I'm serious. I'm very serious. I mean, you see, I'm serious. It don't matter, but like I always say, it don't matter how they look on the outside. They could be the ugliest woman on the planet. And if they got a good personality, I'll date them. But I got a girlfriend now, so I don't really care. <laughs> um, I still don't. I still don't care how a woman looks on the outside. You know, God put us here on the earth for a reason. I found out that reason. You know, love or hate. You can either love somebody, or you can hate somebody, you know? And those are very strong words. Um, love, I mean, there's more love on the planet right now. Well, there's actually a ton of hate on the planet right now, but there's also some love in there too. <sighs> what I'm trying to say is, love somebody or hate somebody, you know, you love your parents, you love who you're dating, you love who you married, if there's any adults out there that watch my content, it, there's someone you love, it don't matter who, siblings, um, parents, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, all that's love, and we get taught to love. At a very young age. Because our parents. 
And as we get older, as we start dating, there's more love coming your way. And, I mean, I've had three, this is my third chance with a girl. I'll, I'll tell you guys the honest to God truth. My first girlfriend, only dated her for two days. The second girl, I just had feelings for her. And this is the third one. And you know, girlfriend, I mean, the third one though. She's beautiful. Uh, don't get me wrong, the other two were as well, but beautiful as personality wise. Also on the outside. You know, um, but you know, there's a reason why. And I've been telling myself, I want a girlfriend. I want to lose my virginity right now. Um, because if I have not been in a relationship for a long time with somebody, and I'm being honest, like a hundred percent honest, um, you know, and whenever you're lonely, life sucks. When you get together with somebody, you might, you might, um, at some point think life sucks, you know, when you start arguing, um, you know, but then again, relationships, there's going to be arguing, there's going to be fighting, there's going to be hate, there's going to be love. I mean, I really feel like, um, but you know, um, I have a lot of feelings right now, mainly good feelings, and I haven't felt this good in a long time. Yeah, my girlfriend is not here with me because, you know, she's got her own home. I have my own home. <sighs> but, you know, sometimes life, it, it it treats you well. Sometimes it doesn't. And, you know, I could go on and on about this, and I'm going to because, you know, I probably don't have anything else to do with my content right now. But... When you get a girlfriend, don't think about yourself right away. Don't think about yourself, period. You get a girlfriend, you think about them. Whenever you're alone, sure, think about yourself, think about your family, think about whatever. But when you get your girlfriend, there's another thing you gotta think about. On top of everything else you've been thinking about other than yourself. When you get a girlfriend, life, you know, at that moment, your life changes. But you, then again, some relationships, they don't last a long time. Like, I only had one for like two days, and then she moved on to just say, I'm going to be single forever. And it's like, okay, you want to be a virgin? Fine, be a virgin, you know? I'm not judgmental of others. Well... Unless someone else is judgmental of me, but there's a reason. But then again, nobody's perfect. And that's honest. I'm not perfect. If I were perfect, I probably wouldn't even be on the face of the earth right now. I'd probably still be in heaven. Or something. You know, if you don't believe in God, that's completely fine with me. But, you know, you go to church for a reason, don't you? You don't know, just go to church just to for some weird odd reason but you know back to what I was saying love and hate they're strong words they really are love is a good strong word hate is a bad strong word when you hate something or someone you know or yourself you know I used to, I mean I really it's been a while since I've lost my anger, since I've been depressed. I can't, I, I mean, when you know, whenever you're feeling depressed, you say you hate your life and stuff like that. Hate is a strong word. But when you're in a good mood or 
you know, something good happened to you, you gotta say, I'm lucky, or I love my life, or something, you know. And I have something to say. I'm a Capricorn. And my sister's been watching a lot about Zodiac signs lately. And there's some stuff in there. You know, Capricorns. Uh, they become famous. Look at me. <laughs> Not trying to, you know, um, don't betray them. Don't betray a Capricorn or something. I don't even know. But then again, you could be born under one Zodiac sign. But I have traits of a completely different one. But I'm going to continue. You should run when a Capricorn stares at you. I mean, what? And you should be scared when they ignore you. Whoever learned that stuff probably needs to go back to school or something. I'm a Capricorn, but I probably have traits of different zodiac signs you know like everyone else does you could be born under one zodiac sign and have traits of a completely different one i mean i if you if you think i am lying about having a girlfriend now i'm not going to make the same promise last time i made a video um, about having a girlfriend, you know, showing them on my YouTube channel. But, um, you know, and I just realized this, this isn't, this is a prior example of Omegle, YouTube, whatever, when you show your face. People are quick to judge on what you look on the outside, it's like, Why? You know, once you get to know their personality, then, you, I mean, you shouldn't be judgmental what people look like. Heck, you could have tons of acne on your face. You could have, you could be very ugly looking. And people are quick to judge. You know, they're like, ugh, he's ugly, I don't want to be friends with him. Or, uh, she's ugly, I don't want to be friends with her. And it's like, you're quick to judge. Stop. Really, like, and it also says in the Bible, it doesn't matter about what a person looks on the outside. Or, well, no, wait. Men, not just men, period, also women. Women. They look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Personality. It doesn't just, it doesn't just, appear out of nowhere. You're born with a personality. And you stick with that personality. Take me for example. My personality, there's a bunch of things like Transformers, voice impressions, YouTube, a bunch of stuff. You know, but another thing I gotta mention. Once you get into a relationship, relationship, I can't speak right now. Some of that stuff you gotta put to the side. Maybe. Just maybe. I mean... I mean... I'm not saying that I'm successful. But <laughs> I got a long ways to go until I am. You know, when I got out of school, then I could say I'm successful. And I got four more years for that, so... And in four more years, I'm also gonna be... 18, I'm going to be out of the house, I'm going to be an adult doing, but I'm hoping my girlfriend is with me by then, because, I mean, she's beautiful, both on the inside and the outside, and I literally told one of my friends today. I don't care how a woman looks on the outside. I care about how they look on the inside. And he's like, oh, you care about their organs and whatnot? I'm like, no. That's not what I mean. I mean personality. It's like, you could be the ugliest. 
ugliest person on the planet. Not saying that anyone's ugly. And I would still date you if you had a good personality. If you had a bad one, I'd probably reject you. Just saying. But I got a girlfriend. So, yeah, but Lord knows how long that's going to last. I mean, it could last for like a few days as the last, as the first one, or it could last a long time. And I'm really hoping it lasts a long time because, you know, and I really do want to say something that, you know, when, I mean, gosh, the girl I'm talking about, beautiful, sure, there's acne on her face, she's a teen, so what? I'm a teen. I got acne on my face. You know, that's how all teens are. If you, if you can't accept the way someone looks, and move on. I may not look like I have acne on my face, but that's because my face isn't up close to the camera. But, you know, it don't matter how someone looks. Don't matter. Personality. Big word. Big word. Personality. I mean, you can have the worst personality on the planet, or you can have the best personality on the planet. But the personality you're born with is the personality you stick with. And your personality has to do with a lot of things. Not just things you like. Things you love, things you hate, people you love, people you hate. I'm sorry to say that, but, you know, like I said, nobody's perfect. I hate people, too. And they're, and they're bad people. Good people... They don't deserve hate. Granted, nobody's perfect. But there are some really good people on this planet. And there are some really bad people on this planet. You know, and people are quick to judge about your opinions and whatnot. I used to say, oh, I don't really, I don't like Joe Biden. Now I'm just like, I don't care who's in office. You know, because I'm not really into politics. <laughs> God knows, yeah, Transformers is politics related, but it ain't, you know, that kind of stuff. I would never, until I get older, yeah, I'll be involved in politics. You know, that's four years from now. But not right now. I'm not even concerned about politics because I can't even vote. I can't even, I mean, I'm not going to be judgmental. I mean, if I were quick to, if I were quick to judge, you know, and those are the bad, some bad people are quick to judge. Good people are quick to judge too. And, you know, what I'm saying is, back to nobody's perfect, you know. But also, the golden rule. People learn that in school. Treat each other the way you want to be treated. You could treat someone horrible. And they would treat you horrible. And that's probably the way you wanted to be treated. You know, golden rule. Um, nobody's perfect. Uh, love or hate. All that stuff. Yes, this is an educational video. I don't understand why, but, you know, my main topic is my girlfriend. Well, basically, people in general. Some people, 
you know, if you're quick to judge someone that's an alcoholic or a drug addict, understandable. But, you know, they got hearts, too. Everyone's got a heart. Everyone's got a brain. Everyone's got all the things you have. We all bleed the same color. I'm sure we're not the same color. We all don't speak the same language. We all don't have the same eye color, hair color. We don't wear the same clothes. But it doesn't matter. We all look different, talk different, wear different clothes, have different lifestyles. Everybody's different in their own unique way. But some ways of being different are bad. You know, and I could go on and on and on and on and on about everything I've been talking about. So it could get through your heart. Head. And I'm being nice, you know, but I'm just hoping this gets to someone's head and, you know, they take it through their life. My YouTube channel isn't just about rapping, it ain't just about stop motions, it ain't just about reaction videos, it ain't about gaming videos. If you want educational videos, or talking, just talking videos like this. I can do it. Granted, I'm not a teacher. And God knows I don't want to. You know? Yes, I know. That was quick to judge, but... I'm in school. And I'm gonna talk about this for a sec, because I, I really don't like school. And there's reasons why. But yeah... The reason why I don't want to be a teacher is because there's respectful kids um, and all that. Grant and I don't like school. You know, the only way to be successful in life is if you are successful in school, apparently. That's what I learned today, though. Yes, um, one more thing I gotta mention. Today was a half day, um, basically, um, today was a half day, um, because we had a game, and my entire half day, most of it, I mean, was basically, um, it was virtual career day, um, we were learning, we weren't learning different careers, we were learning specifically about jobs and whatnot. But a very popular college football player, Timothy Alexander, and he started talking. And what's so great about Timothy Alexander is his story. He was um, a paralyzed. He became par. Um, in 2006, he got into a car wreck and he got paralyzed from the neck down. But you know. At one point, he being became suicidal. And you know, well, you know, I had suicidal thoughts, basically. But, you know, we were learning about, um, uh, a growth mind and a fixed mind. Um, fixed is, I can't do it. Growth is, I can do it. You know, we are learning about that stuff. And Timothy Alexander, gosh, that guy could talk up a storm. And I'm hoping one day, just one, I get him on, get, um, find him on some kind of social media. I have Instagram. He has Instagram. And I could see if he would like to have a Q&A session sometime. Maybe here on YouTube. Timothy Alexander. He talked to the 8th graders specifically today because, you know, only 8th graders. 
but he is a great man. And, you know, I want to be just like him. You know, not get paralyzed like him, but I want to be like him. You know, not go down his career path either, you know. I want to be a voice actor. But, you know, I want to be a motivational person like him. You know, I want to... You know, most 8th graders, granted I am one of them, have a fixed state of mind. You know, I can't do it. That's me. Some things, there's some stop motions I make and I fear I can't do it. There's some videos I make, I fear I can't do it. But then again, having that growth state of mind is better than having a fixed state of mind. You know, the main reason people aren't successful is because they have that growth state of mind. That's what I learned. You know, some things I learn, yes, I do pay attention. Yes, I do listen. There's things that I learn that I won't ignore. There's things I learned that I will ignore. And that's some of the bad stuff I learned. Some things are lies, you know, and stuff like that. But, you know, Timothy Alexander. I mean, back in 2017. 2017. Ten years. Well, really, eleven 11 slash 10 years since he's been paralyzed and he started walking again he started talking again he started doing things he could not do when he was paralyzed like a normal person miracle yes blessing yes but most importantly growth state of mind yes Believing in God, you know, and Big Smoke, one of the smartest people in GTA San Andreas, GTA period. Same things that makes us laugh, makes us cry. We're either blessed or we're cursed. Think about that. Sure, Big Smoke is a big meme and whatnot, but some things he says are smart. Very smart. Timothy Alexander, smart. Me, probably smart. I don't know yet. But you know, Timothy Alexander, I'm not quick to judge. You know, and some people, and some people in the room, uh, BCR room day, whenever we were doing the virtual career day, they were quick to judge Timothy. They called him George Floyd. I was like, when the world, I mean, I'm glad he couldn't hear us. Because getting made fun of means that you shouldn't, you know, Timothy Alexander, his story and everything was, I mean, hold on. He has his own website and I want to check it out. Because I know he's got his own website. But if you, if you, um, are a person that's quick to judge, there is something. I wanted to say real fast that there's probably something wrong with you and I really do mean that. I wish I could I wish I didn't say that, but I kind of had to. For the sake of Timothy Alexander. Growing leaders. Oh wow. 
Timothy Alexander, inspired by T.A. Oh, yeah. Inspired by T.A. dot com. I recommend that you guys check out inspired by ta.com it's a website that is about Timothy Alexander his website to be to be exact we don't need it to be easy we just need it to be possible that's what he that's one thing he has said He's got a YouTube channel. Great, great, great stuff, great stuff. He's got a YouTube channel. <laughs> Taco Bell, TA's partners, Netflix, Nike. Netflix, okay, TA's partners, Nike, Netflix, NFL, player engagement, NCAA, TEDx, Taco Bell, Allstate, um, Big South. I think that's, yeah, San Francisco Giants, Kansas City Royals, um, let's see, uh, K-U-S-E-C, Alabama Crimson Tide, um, yeah, huge shout out to Timothy Alexander, though. Very, very huge shout out. He had a Zoom meeting today. I don't want to know if I can Zoom with him. You know. Basically, email him. You know. Because. You know. I will tell you guys life sometimes like I said sometimes it's unfair sometimes it's fair and you know when it's unfair you just gotta have that growth state of mind and keep on going don't have that fixed state of mind and say I, I, I can't do it anymore I, I just can't take it anymore or something like that keep going because you will find yourself in a great place and I'm not talking about, you know, and I'm not just talking about life itself. I'm talking about all the challenges you come across. I'm talking about all the things that make you successful or unsuccessful. Back to what Big Smoke says. Same things that makes us laugh, makes us cry. Think about that. And he's not wrong. You could be laughing at something one moment, and the next moment you could be crying at it. We're either blessed or we're cursed. That's another thing Big Smoke says that's very important. And I will record the Zoom meeting if you guys really want me to. Um, because, uh, yeah. That is it for you. Know, please be like, comment, subscribe, and clear tap on that notification bell to so never miss my videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace to the homies and the homegirls out there watching YouTube video. And I will make sure to get Timothy Alexander to talk to me.
um, because his story needs to be shared to you guys, and you guys are gonna love it. If you guys do not enjoy his story, there's something completely wrong with you, and I mean that. I mean it. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna get him on my YouTube channel, maybe not today, maybe tomorrow, who knows. But you will see him.